Hey, what's going on, Libra? How are you? Antoine here. Libra, it's time for your love messages for the end of May of 2022, all right? So these messages will be for all placements of Libra for the last 11 days, the 21st through 31st of May. Let's go ahead and get into your energies, Libra. All placements of Libra, those of you who are also dealing with the Libra, we will pull one oracle card and then we will uh, clarify around it and get some advice. Okay, Libra. Energies and love, romance and relationships for Libra for the last 11 days of May. Okay. So Libra, the card flighty has come out. Okay. Honestly, this sometimes Libra, this is my card of red flags. Okay. Because with this energy, you're unsure. Okay, you're flighty. You don't know if you want to fight, fight or flight, right? Something may be playing on your fight or flight responses um, when it comes to uh, love and relationships. Now, many of you, this may be revolving any aspect of love and relationships, right? Like communication. Maybe you don't want to really communicate or maybe you're too afraid to communicate certain things or maybe you're afraid of certain levels of intimacy. Okay. Um. But you could also be seeing this energy in someone else is what I'm saying as well. So I do get like this. Like I said, it, 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 it reads like red flag. It's like, oh, I see something. No, nope, no, nope, let me, nah, nah. you know what I mean? Like, let me back on out. <laughs> you, you, ever, you ever feel like that, Libra? So I just think that that's what that energy is about for you today, whether it is you who is like, you know, like I said, whether it's you and your flight or flight response, fight or flight response being triggered or it could be um, the person that you're dealing with, all right? So let's go ahead and pull some tarot here and let's see if we can get a deeper understanding here of your uh, oracle card. You know, um, sometimes when I look at the energy of this card, I feel like it's very, it can be very uh, fear-based sometimes okay so sometimes you may need to like check your i, I want to say uh spirit uh spirit is uh telling me to tell you libra to like check your understandings about something you know we are in um mercury retrograde uh during this you know during this time so you know things could be misunderstood as well you may want to check those out Okay, we have the King of Swords. So there you are right there, Libra. Could be somebody you're dealing with, but this is pos possibly your energy, especially with it being here at the base. Um, okay, and the Hierophant. Okay, yeah, so serious commitment relationships um, or just commitments in general, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like stages, uh, steps, um, uh, progression, into something okay oh something just flipped okay i guess it flipped all the way over there <laughs> all right what else energies okay all right the star the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords here. Hmm. Honestly, Libra, I see this Ace of Swords energy almost as a challenge in a way or as an extension of you in this King of Swords energy because the thing about this energy here, Libra, is like the, the, with the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, well, and the Knight of Swords, I think that there's just something that you just cannot ignore, Libra. There may be something that you're having to actually say, okay? Um, hmm. I do feel like, Libra, it may, that energy may be coming off a little bit, you know, I don't think you mean, I don't think you'll mean to come off offensive or anything like that, but I think that it might, but it only is because it's like, it's really direct, Okay. Um, so, uh, uh, we got the star card energy here. So what I'm feeling here with this energy 
is like Libra, I don't know if you're sure if whoever this is that you're dealing with, you may not be sure that this person is exactly like, you know, your person. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not sure if you exactly feel that way. Um, maybe you feel like there's like some uncompleted steps or something. Maybe you feel like there's some things that you are still committed to or still obligated to or whatever that is making you feel like, well, maybe you're not ready. Okay. I do feel like you are trying to approach the situation with a very mature mindset, especially with the King of Swords. The Ace of Swords is just telling me automatically that you're kind of going into the situation, kind of already knowing that it's not really going to be that serious, so you don't want it to really be that serious. I see this Knight of Swords energy as you kind of like, you know, I'm about to go, I'm about to go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, the person that you're dealing with could be married, Libra. Oh, boy. Spirit just told me that right now with the higher fit. The person that you're dealing with could be married and it's just like, what? Let me get the fuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go ahead and pull some more cards. So we got the Queen of Cups here. And we got the Two of Wands. And then we got the Nine of Cups. Oh, God, Libra. And then we got the Fool and Temperance. The Lovers. Libra, you want this person so bad. And the thing about it is, is that this person, uh-oh, I dropped one. Okay, yeah, the Nine of Cups. So let me just do this. You want this person. What, what was first? The Queen of Cups? Okay. And then the Nine of Cups. So, yeah. So I really see that you want this person um, this person really feels like, again, like your dream come true, right? They feel like, they, it feels like they have all the attributes. Like everything would tell me that you want to move forward toward this person here, especially with this um, two of wands energy, okay? Now, we got the fool, we got the temperance, and we got the lovers. Okay, so this is definitely a, a person really could be like a dynamic love for you. Okay, we got the temperance energy. This person could be a Sagittarius, all right? Um... I see you really wanting to like jump head first into the situation, but you are afraid. And I think that you're afraid because either you or maybe most likely this person may have other obligations or other commitments, Libra, that you just already know that you about to just, you know what I'm saying? You just like, you just are, I, this is what you're sitting down here looking like. I saw the red, look, I saw the red flags. You know, I saw the red flags there anyway. It's like you're shaking. It's like you, it's like the shaking my head emoji, but you see it on your own. You know what I mean? It's like the red flags were there. I've seen it. You understand what I mean? So I don't know, Libra. I just feel like this person. Mm, it's they're a good person. I think I, I just think that it's just not the right timing. You understand what I mean? Like they're a great person and they like you. And you like them, you know what I mean? And the star card, like I said, they have a lot of the qualities that you want, right? So I see why it was so easy for you to be like, oh, that's my person. But then when you kind of get into it, it's just like you start feeling it out more. And it's just like, but I'm not understanding. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's, it, you're not understanding um, how this person can still have other commitments or other priorities or obligations um and then still be interested in you so let's go ahead and pull some advice libra what else does libra need to okay as soon as i asked it came right on out all right so we got grief and mute yeah that's exactly what you're afraid of libra you're afraid that you're going to end up missing out on this person because you're not even going to register on this person's radar after a while because of their obligations, because of what they got going on, like because of what, um, you know, their other commitments are. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all don't even, you, it's like you're, you're not even seen and you're not even heard. You understand what I mean? Um, and I do feel like you could end up losing out on something as well, or maybe this grief energy feels like a part of your, you lose a part of yourself as well in this, in this situation. So, Oh, Libra. 
run. <laughs> flight, flight, flight. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and let you go there, Libra. But let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. Thank y'all so much for your time and support and positivity and light. And uh, I'll see y'all later. I think the next messages will be in June. So talk to you later. Bye.